508 here on your Tuesday morning. You need something to warm your spirits because <laughs> Yes. It's the double OD out there this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and the sad thing is, it's going to get colder. Yeah, we're going to be some 15 to 20 degrees colder tomorrow morning than we are right now Ooh. across central Georgia, Ooh. as we are going to be in record threatening territory in terms of the cold weather. Looking live over Dublin this morning, not quite as cool there just yet, but temperatures continuing to fall and they will continue to fall as we head through the morning hours until about 8 a.m. or so. Then they will begin to warm up or <laughs> relatively warm up through the afternoon. 50 in Macon right now, as well as in morning. Robbins 51 in gray 45 in Monticello the 40s continuing to work their way south. I suspect here in the next 30 minutes or so a large chunk of us will be in the 40s across central Georgia. Radar picture is quiet. That's backscattered there on the radar. Nothing to worry about. Cold front obviously has come on through some showers down off the coast this morning. Otherwise cool and dry air beginning to build in across central Georgia. In fact, snow falling this morning up in the Hoosier state working its way down into Kentucky. Now I mentioned earlier a red flag warning is in effect for this afternoon and evening. The combination of low humidity and wind will cause any fire that is in and around central Georgia to spread fairly quickly. So burning discouraged today across central Georgia. The counties you see here in red, which is for the most part is all of central Georgia, all the counties we cover. Hopefully conditions will be a little bit better tomorrow. Now as we roll through the morning hours into the afternoon, notice temperatures following a little falling a little bit more before we rebound. What little rebound we do today winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Temperatures only finding their way into the upper 50s before all is said and done. Then for tonight, we cool down into the 30s, and these are going to be widespread 30s across central Georgia. This is 7 a.m. as we roll on into the day, then rebounding into the 60s tomorrow afternoon, and then even colder once we get into Thursday morning. Notice a few of us getting close to the freezing mark here. Well, that is certainly going to be a possibility as we roll into Thursday morning with some clouds by the time we get to Thursday afternoon. Temperatures back into the mid 60s. Beyond that, smooth sailing into the weekend. There's Friday on into Saturday on into Sunday. No issues there, but this cold is going to be record threatening. Talking about an overnight low of 35 tomorrow, 34 for Thursday and then 37 for Friday. How does this stack up against the records? Well, uh, not threatening it this morning, but for tomorrow morning forecasted to tie it forecasted to come close to the record there on Thursday morning. A freeze warning is in effect for tonight for parts of central Georgia. This is going to be from Dooley County up to Pulaski, Irwinton, Sandersville areas to the north there. And that means it's time to protect your pets, pipes and plants across these counties. Now today's high temperatures talking about the 50s, so it's a cool start this morning, not rebounding all that much. 58 in Macon, 58 in Warner Robins, 60 in Wrightsville and 56 going to be the high temperature there in Forsyth. Here's how the stacks up on the seven day today, the coolest of the next seven. We make it into the 60s tomorrow, but notice those cold mornings continuing 35 there for Wednesday morning, 34 for Thursday morning back into the upper 70s by the time we get to the weekend with plenty of sun to go around.